Um, so yeah, hi, my name's uh, Luke Astley, so I oversee the um, teaching at the moment for the level two and level three groups and also teach on the university courses on the foundation degree that we have here. I also coach the under 23s group at the moment. Moving forwards I'll be the academy manager and overseeing the football side of things. The junior programme starts with the under eights who uh, train twice a week and obviously uh, play fixtures on the weekend, sometimes in the week and then we go straight through to the under 16s um, and then at 16 the, the opportunity is there for the boys to come in to train with the academy which is a full-time academy linked with the education which is uh, training the middle part of the day with their lessons based or tailored around their football. Yeah, so our education providers is to College, so we've got a really good link and it's obviously part of the community and just down the road now, which is fantastic. Uh, we've also got a really strong link with Worcester University, which is linked to our foundation degree that we offer. Uh, again, we use the facilities on and off campus. The library that we can use at Kidderminster College. For Worcester Uni, obviously, there's a range, including the 4G, performance analysis, the S&C suite, as well as like basketball courts, etc. I think last week we had a group down there doing trampolining, uh, and obviously you've got the brand new facility of the library in, in the city centre itself. Here at the um, Centre of Sport and Excellence we have 48 acres um, of land. We have six classrooms with all the education done mainly on site uh, and then we also have a gym on site for players that are injured or coming back from recovery and we also use our own performance analysis which is sometimes used in the classrooms as well for classroom sessions. I've been here 11 years uh, when, the, when the programme first started with the uh, development of classrooms, the pitches uh, and it's just gone strength for strength and hopefully it will continue to go that way so it's great to be part of that and see that that change if you like. Kai in the summer who came in he did a year on his course here then he obviously did well over the summer and got a professional contract which is absolutely brilliant for us. It's also picked staff up from a motivational point of view and also with other players seeing that they feel or hope that they might get that same opportunity. Um, my name is Kylie Seymour, I'm 18 and I'm a first team Kidder Minster Harry player. I joined the academy in uh, 2020 progressed and managed to get into the pre-season with the first team of last season. That was where I managed to show off my abilities, not only as a player but as a person. I managed to get game time and play a few games with the first team in pre-season and then it was towards the start of the season where I managed to get my contract with the first team and really focus and knuckle down on my uh, footballing. With the academy, the, the balance was perfect for me. It was being able to play football, doing what I love, but also get an education as well. The teachers are really supportive. They, um, there's because you get quite a lot of coursework, but they help you and break it down for you, make it a lot easier. With the football inside of things, um, the pitches are great. You, you're playing on a surface which you can really improve on, and I think the people around you, your peers, they also help you kick on. I've still got um, another season on my contract at the first team at Kiddy, so I'm hoping to kick on and obviously push into the first team and get a nail down a starting position. Um, get a lot more game time but also I'm, I'm going to finish off my education side of things and get my second part of my um, BTEC diploma in. My favourite memory is probably the FA Cup game against West Ham. I think just everything about it, the, the experience and the setup was a, a moment to remember for the rest of my life. I think anyone looking to join the Kiddy Harriers Academy, I think it's a perfect opportunity to be able to balance both your football and education side. Uh, that's what I did when I came here and I haven't looked back since. I do feel like you are constantly getting helped in both aspects and you do really push on in both. So why I think you should come to the Centre of Sport and Excellence and uh, attend the Kidderminster Harriers Academy. You get to play football every day as well as get your education which sounds fantastic. Uh, I think obviously making new friends and meeting new people is also another reason to come here. I think you'll develop not just as a player but also as a person uh, and I think that's just as important after you leave school at 16 years old.